let us understand the basics of a razor page suppose a remote client has sent a request to your application this is a request that is coming from a remote client to your asp.net core application let us also suppose that the remote client has sent an year as a query string parameter and let us also say that our application has to send a completed html for a report of savings in a year this report has to be sent back to the caller the final html that has to be sent will be rendered will be displayed as a colorful html table some parts such as this heading this heading this heading this heading they are fixed and some parts such as this 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 data these are obtained by running a program a dot net code against a database so how to achieve this objective a developer creates a razor page consisting of intermixed html and dot net code combined in a one single file called a razor page the intermixed code allows the data to be programmatically inserted into that html this data that you are seeing is programmatically inserted into the html with the help of the dot net code that is intermixed on the razor page a razor page is a pair of two files having the same name but different extensions this extension this extension but the name is the same if we take the example of a page called index then you can see one file is named as index.cshtml the other file is named as index.cshtml.cs this file index.cshtml it contains html markup mixed with dot net code this is sometimes alone called a razor page this single file itself is sometimes called a razor page it contains dot net code and html mixed in this single file a special syntax is used for mixing the html and dot net code the syntax is called razor syntax but we will take this syntax later on not today the other file is named as index.cshtml.cs this file contains a c# dot net class that acts as a companion to this page the class in this file is a companion to this cshtml page the class here it will handle page requests like get request post request and other page related events this is an extract from the solution explorer of some project it will help us get introduced to razor pages we are not doing the practical today we will take the practical in later lectures this is the solution explorer and this is some project this is already done but we are not discussing how we do it we are only interested in telling the location of razor files in this solution explorer razor pages are placed in a special folder called pages this name is important the spellings and name are important this folder must be present on your project and inside this folder we place all our razor pages pages is a folder where the runtime searches for razor pages by default the name and location of this folder can be changed through suitable dot net code but we will take that later on for now we will say that we will have to place all our razor pages 
in this folder called pages. This is the index.cshtml file that you can see this is placed inside the pages folder. And this is the index.cshtml.cs file. This file is also placed in the pages folder. Let us forget about this one. We will take this sometime later. The CS file, we can open the CS file. The CS file looks like this. We are not going to discuss the inner details of this file, but the point that we are going to discuss is that this file contains a C sharp.NET class. The name of that class is related to the name of the razor page. The razor page is indexed and the name of this class is obtained is made to look similar to the name of the razor page and model has been appended to the name. The purpose is readability. You can change this name, it is possible, but keeping this name matched to the razor page will make your code readable. If we open the CSHTML file, then we get a story like this. This file has to start with the page directive at page. This is the first directive that should be present in the CSHTML file. The spellings again are important small page at the rate. This directive it tells the runtime that this is a razor page. Then you can see that there is a directive at model. This directive is used to tell the name of the backing class. The backing class. This index model class is written in this matching file. So this, this directive links your this CSHTML file and the CS class there and the events that are processed through that they can now be used to manipulate the content on this page. The remaining part of this page, it contains the HTML markup, the HTML markup and .NET code mixed with the help of Razor syntax. So this class and the .NET code in this file, they help us generate the HTML content dynamically and send our HTML report back to the caller. With this primer, you should now get a basic understanding of Razor pages. We will take all the details in later lectures. Thank you.